All right, so this one is, uh, well, exactly the same as the porcupine that I just did. But instead, you're trying to get the, the polar bear one. I don't know why you would do this, Mr. Budo. Why would you do this? It's currently being posted for 40,000 gold, and then it's dropped down to 30,000 gold. It's not going to sell faster at all. If somebody wants to buy the polar bear cub, it's going to sell for 40,000 gold just as fast as 30,000 gold. You know, this is actually, uh, having a dragon riding on this farm might be a problem. I think I gotta switch it back. Like, definitely gonna run out of energy. The mobs are really spread out. Oh, my man. That is a brand new sub, dude. Thank you so much for subscribing to the stream, buddy. Welcome in. You notice now how uh, being a subscriber drastically increases your RNG, man. You're in for the big boy items now. Thank you. Yeah, let me change. Where is that even? Is it an under general? Like switching to regular flying. There we go. Switch flight styles. Good shit. Man, this fucking tool that go are gonna be 80 runs as usual. You just gotta believe, man. If you believe it will drop. I hope so. Thanks for the stream. Really enjoy him. Glad you do, buddy. Thanks for watching him. Right, we're halfway through. It would be nice to get this uh, polymorph to him as well. In one hour. Um. This one can actually be done in a group. The most efficient way of doing this is doing it in uh, with five people. Because they hyper-spawn, these polar bears. So you invite five people and uh, you help each other hyper-spawn them. So usually when you go down to kill a polar bear, there's already going to be a dead one that you can loot, killed by someone else. So it, it actually makes sense to five-man this. Found some removed patterns this morning in an old character, still removed from the game, yes. Should be some nice gold, nice. I'll buy it off you, dude, 50,000 gold. For my birthday, I need to finally draw the Blade of Hannah. I completely agree with you. That would be cool. The Blade of Hannah, though, is being a bitch right now. I haven't seen one drop for a very long time. 50 mil?! Dude, 50,000 gold is a lot of gold, man. Imagine what you can do with that. You can turn the 50,000 gold into 50 million. So technically, I am giving you uh, 50 million gold. If anyone is currently doing this on a mage, just uh, let me know. We can group up. You're rich, I'm poor, so 50 million is nothing for you. It's true that losing 50 million wouldn't drastically change my life, but, uh... Still 50 million gold. <laughs> still a lot of gold. Why mage? Only mages can farm this. Poly... <laughs> Morph tomb. No, no, no. One guy in my group dropped Blade of Hannah after five minutes in. It's always some lucky clowns. 
God. That's going to be me today. Where's my let's see toy 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 toy? If I'm purple skeleton, my RNG is drastically increased. No. Medicine, not yet, at least. I would be happy with a skull flame, even best epic from plastic ever got was like 20,000 gold. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm always happy getting Skull Flame Shields, even though their value right now isn't the best. But it, you know it's going to sell. It's a good item. By all means, I would much rather get a Blade of Hana or a Tibu, but yeah. I wouldn't be sad getting a Skull Flame. I quit WoW for a while and then I came back. First day I got the Skull Flame Shield, rare purple silk shirt pattern, and a Jinsu. No big drop since then. <laughs> Oh, that's one hell of a return to the game, though, man. Come on. Where's all the bears at? Fuck me. Still time, 27 minutes left. We got it. Yo, Relic, appreciate the fall, dude. Welcome in. Did you sell the rich purple, by the way? Nips, that you got? And if you did, how much did you get? Very surprised about the price of the rich purple pattern, dude. Like, it's held its value so well. And there's probably going to be a lot of people coming back to the game for the war within. That doesn't even know about profession achievements. And they would want the rich purple. I don't think it's going to go like drastically down for a while either. And also the fact that there's going to be less people doing old content in the war within. In the beginning at least. So there's going to be less purple uh, shirts being posted. And it's only posting it for weeks. How much are you posting it for? I sold my stick rot smasher for 500k. Nice. Good sale. I haven't had a stink rot in ages. I've only had one. Like ever. Sold it for a pretty meh price. I don't remember exactly how much, but I remember that I wasn't super happy about it. Around six to seven hundred, only one of my realm posting it on full pop. Woohoo! You got the long strider head acquired, see? It's the stream RNG, man. Do you have all long striders or was that the first one? First one. Hopefully you're luckier with the remaining ones. I'm still trying to move my glacier. That thing just doesn't want to sell. 
Yeah. I mean, we were just talking about that. I sold two of them in one week, and then I got two more, and they haven't sold now for, like, I don't know how long. It's been a while. What the fuck are you going to do with that many speed roots? Hey, if you were here, could my druid join your guild? Yes, it's yo, Mister uh, Formax. Are you on stream right now? I can invite you, dude. I just I can't invite you on uh, on this tune because I'm in a black market container uh, guild. Like back in the days when you wanted to move gold cap, the only way to do that efficiently was uh, was to make a guild put gold cap into the guild and do a guild transfer on oh, my phone uh which isn't logged in for twitch just listening all right yeah you can uh send an application to join the guild if you're alliance and i can accept you as soon as i go over to my druid if you play horde i have to manually invite you and you got to be on my battle net list to get the uh the guild invite regardless though i gotta be on my druid but of course, anyone can join in. The more, the better. That's a secret. <laughs> That's a secret. I like it. I'm trying right now to get a large stockpile of the transmog sets from the Warbank quest before I finally complete them and not locked out from looting it. Makes sense. I mean, you've had success selling them, so... Yeah, just remind me in uh, like 22 minutes, or max, when, uh, whenever you see me logged on to the Druid, and I'll throw you an invite, buddy. Did you get that one in Pandaria? Yeah, I have it somewhere, man. There you go. Yes, that one dropped. Would be sweet to... Uh, Get this one as well. Morning, student. Long time no see. How's it going? Hold on, my man. It's going good, dude. No complaints at all. What about you? Are you dominating an SOD? Is there a specific drop chance for these? Yeah, I think the wow had the drop chance percentage is pretty accurate on these. I don't remember what it is, though. Obviously, my cleared MC easily already. Good shit. Is uh, Sul Gur about now? I saw something on, on Twitter, like a post. I don't remember uh, if it was out or it was coming out soonish. I just remember seeing something about it. Getting it soon? Yes. Just wait and see, man. I got 20 minutes to pick it up. I had the Asher Welpling for almost a year and still haven't gotten a buyer. Is it a rare pet? It's a, it's one of the, the toughest Welplings. Well, it's the toughest Welpling to farm out of the classic Welplings that you can farm. The Emerald, the um, the Dark Welpling, the Crimson Welpling. 
um, but not being able to sell it for a year, that's kind of odd. It sounds like you're getting undercut. Like there's someone who has a cheaper pet posted uh, than you. Because I've sold a lot of Asher Whelplings and I've never in my life had to wait a year. Not even close to a year. Even back when I played on Dead Realms, it sold faster than that. Yo, long time owner of the Gold Guide. It's a lifesaver. Thank you, King Ma. Man, dude, thanks for picking it up, buddy. That's awesome. Emerald Whelpling, 15 attempts. Don't believe it's out yet. No. Huh. What if farming? Farming polymorph tombs. They allow mages to polymorph targets into, uh, well, something other than a sheep. You can sell them on the auction house. I wasn't even going for it. So I got it by farming it when you gave us the plants that came back to the game. Ah, yeah. Patch 1017. Yeah, because the Asher Whelpling is usually just a... Something that you get while trying to farm something else, since it's a zone drop. No, I didn't see that, Iris. I'll check it out. Two seconds. Did you see that hunter explosive traps do a shit ton of damage? No, I haven't looked at. Uh, well, I, I try my best to read, like, a news and updates about, uh, Seasonal Discovery. But, uh, no. I'm not up to date on it, what builds are good, etc. Like, the meta of the gameplay, no. Hello, student. How are you today? I am doing great, man. I'm doing great. Thank you. Yourself? Give me a random gold farm for SOD to do today. I don't know what the meta is at the moment. Do Chief's hand. I'm great too. I sold two skull flame shields. Nice. What price did you get? 500 gold for Arcanite Champion. Arcanite Champion. Good old LBRS. Fuck these ads. Oh, wait, you, you got to announce it, Ainz. What are you doing? Any tips for selling pets? I got a bunch of TCG ones and I'm having trouble unloading them. Yeah, I also have some TCG pets that I'm currently posting on the auction house right now. Uh, nah, it's just the uh, amount of people that has the gold and willing to spend hundreds of thousands of gold for a single battle pet. Like, it's there's not a lot of people in that situation, so they tend to be slow uh, sells. But everyone in the, the battle pet uh, market, they know how to buy battle pets and buy the cheapest ones available, most people at least. So you, you, it's pointless to post a Spectral Tiger Cub for 500,000 gold on your realm when you can buy a Spectral Tiger Cub for 280,000 gold on another realm in your region. So it's very important to uh, make sure to match the lowest price in the region. Have you taken time off for release this year for the war with end? Yeah, I'm like se semi off. It's uh, it's not that bad. Semi off doesn't sound good, but uh, yeah, I'm completely off for uh, like from the release and the 
like throughout the weekend, obviously. And then I'm going to have two, two weeks of a uh, home office with like very minimal amount of work. Like right now, I'm, I'm at work right now. For instance, so yeah, I do have some uh, projects to follow up, etc. But uh, it's uh, mostly off. So it's going to be sweet. I'm a silent dude, mate. You are. Appreciate the lines. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Mordial, what's up? Anyway, to check the lowest uh, price on reach at the moment, the TSM feature for that seems to not be working. You can use Undermine Exchange, the website. Any idea why Blizz doesn't let me make characters in Russian realms? Uh, yeah. Not much, just reposting some auctions. Eris, Google how to play in Russian realms. Are you getting paid during those off hours? Yeah. Yes. Bum, 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 If I work uh, 70 hours in a week, or if I work 10 hours in a week, I get paid the same. Fuck, effective uh, working hours. Bum, bum. I went to try posting an orange and don't everything is under the min price. Yeah. But now you got Warban uh, banks, Mordio. So uh, switching to a more, uh, well, a better realm is done in a heartbeat. I had to change language, fuck that. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the deal of the year. Well, yeah, but like I also do a lot of traveling and I don't... You don't get paid any extra. Like having to travel to like fucking Germany or Denmark or whatever. Spend ungodly hours over there and... So. There's ups and downs, man. Like most things in life. I might be visiting Norway for vacation either in winter or next summer, by the way. I'm definitely stopping by. You definitely should. Best country. Sales, never bringer. Yeah, that's why I wanted to try to see if it moves faster. Eleven minutes left to get this one. Bum 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 bum. Da, 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 da. I think next time I go to Norway, I want to see the Bergen area. I think that would only make sense if you go like further uh, southeast into like Hardanger, Mordiel. There's some beautiful places. It's like, well, how many hours? Like a three hour drive. Why do Russians always list stuff for so cheap? Uh, there was bar blades that I carry up for 30,000 gold recently. Yeah. I mean, uh, most people uh, get their best deals from well, Spanish and Russians. Stupid is in my city. Yes, he is. My man. I want to see more nature and hike. 
Oh, that's definitely land and uh, we'll go from Bergen to Hardango. And then you can even walk the uh, Dronningstein. Hardango is fucking insane, dude. They have like... It, it, they were known to grow uh, fruits like apples and shit in a hill. It's like... It's so fucking steep, you can't imagine. Like, imagine being the guy that has to walk around and pick the apples. Like, the, you should see how fucking steep it is. It's insane. Snoopy, the second best route in the city? He is. I mean, I beat him in a duel, so obviously. He's number two. There can only be one number one. What's good, Stu? How are you? Vulul! I'm good, buddy. I am good. Thank you for asking. What about yourself, man? I bought four Tomb of uh, Lost Legion to flip for 5-5 five, five apiece. Nice. Yeah, Heinz. Polymorph Serpent is still unobtainable, right? Yes. Magic Rooster was sold in a Russian realm in 2020, in 2022 for 1.5. I'm doing well, thank you. Sweet. That's what Toltunga is, never seen that. Yeah, you can do that. And Dronning Stian. Mordio. Ba, 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 ba. Why is the country so beautiful? Uh, because uh, obviously the ancient gods created Norway this way. The Viking gods. Where is my snooze? I keep seeing those really cheap houses and cabins over there. I hope my kidneys are worth that much so I can get it someday. It's, uh... I, mean, I guess you can get some cheap cabins and houses, but they're going to be in extremely rural areas and probably not connected to, like, sewer lines, right? And not to have, uh, like, water into the, the house, etc. Not a big fan of the weather. I love the like the weather is the best part. Guys, I should learn the Arcanine Champion. Guess I should learn it. Wait, you don't craft? Yes, you should. If you're not crafting it already, fuck yeah. Fuck, I could go for some snooze right now. Do it. Is it dark most of the the time in Norway during winter? Only up in the north, man. Yeah, like, I live down southwest of the country. Uh, we don't really have an issue with that, man. Yeah, it gets dark at, like, 5 p.m. during winter. So you have, like, a decent amount of uh, 
of daylight, right? You would have uh, like eight hours a day of daylight, like proper daylight. But uh, yeah, the further up north you get, the less daylight you get. Same thing now in the summer, like it's dark for like two and a half hours. Sir Torres with a follow. Appreciate it, my welcome. Houses might be cheap, but other things that cost you sell. Though if you get a job there, it should be okay. Yeah, or just uh, fucking uh, live out in the forest. You want to eat? Go shoot a moose. Is that even legal? There's hunting seasons, man. It's uh, not legal uh, all year around, but like, who the fuck is going to see you in the middle of nowhere? Do you have any minimum post price for transmog? Like, uh, items 2,000 gold, you're not going to post it? Oh, I got it! Fuck yeah! Dude, I got both in an hour. The polar bear and the porcupine. Absolutely beautiful. Holy shit, dude. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Easy. I mean, that shit has a market value of like 140,000 gold in an hour. Uh, on my realm, though, the prices are a bit low now, so it's only 60,000 gold for me, but still good. <laughs> 